so you were talking about in the body, right? So I mean, I'll talk about my experiences and the work that we've done. But for me, the access, I mean, there was there was there was a tutorage, there was teaching from you, but none of that would make any difference whatsoever if yes. I didn't surrender, get get out of the mind, yes, because we can't go anywhere into the body or into the cosmic fucking orgasm yeah. if we're in our head, right? And, yes. and that's the hardest and yet the easiest part in a way. Exactly. That's what I always say to people. It's so easy, but because it's so easy, it's so hard because it's so, I almost want to say childlike. Simple, but not easy. So simple, but not easy because it's so simple. Um, okay. So thank you very much for saying that. And you did experience the cosmic orgasm. You didn't expect it. That, that time they went in by the fireplace. Um, we were. <laughs> I'll just put, put the context. We were in a poetry reading. We're we gonna say we were in a naked poetry. So yeah, we were in a mm. naked poetry reading. Um, we had the opportunity where you came to sit next to me, and I said, "Would you like me to touch your back? And your back." And you said yes, and then I just stroked your back and I guided your mind into your body and you came with me. So you are so right. I can guide you into your body as much as I want to, but unless you are able to do that, like 80%, actually 95% of the work is in your capacity to say, okay, I'm going to let go, I'm going to surrender, I'm going to go into the body. Yep. And, and I could feel your mind, I could feel where your mind was, and as it was touching, I said, come, put that whole mind only into your feeling body, into your feeling body. And the moment you surrendered, there was that, that was a cosmic orgasm happening right through your body, and that's the first time you felt it. And I still remember, and it, I mean, that's carried on pulsing through your body, it's not, not a one-second experience. And I still remember leaning over, saying to you very gently into your ear, don't worry, it's fine, your body's going to move, your body's going to shake, you're waking up yourself. It's a process, we'll revisit this. Let's go back to that experience. It yes. Was, it was when you, I remember you, I think you were running your hand up and down from the bottom of my to, the, to my coccyx, um, and I can feel it's like you had a you had a hot ball in your hand, and then you would touch like the base of my spine or my coccyx or, or thoracic region of my spine, and um, and then that. Yeah, it, it was the thing that you said that the trigger point was what you just said there, which was taking my thoughts into the body. And that was when I, I, I felt myself like Alice in Wonderland just going down. <laughs> exactly. It really was like that, and I and I and I was really like, I'm, and I was very conscious of it was a poetry, the fucking poetry. All these people around. And when I kind of closed my eyes, the last thing I remember was like, you know, ten or twelve people in an arc just kind of. Watching and, and <laughs> because if I'd you know, and at the start I was like, you know, what's happening? Is this appropriate? What's going on? Like all that stuff, you know. But I just felt it, and and I was able to. I felt like I was held, and I was, and and I went down through the looking glass, where the expression is, the Alice in Wonderland, and and I was gone, gone. I I could, I, I genuinely was scared as well, in a in a kind of delightful way and like I'm gonna die and it's gonna be the best death I ever have because I'll never come back. You know? <laughs> I mean my body was convulsing and shaking and convulsing. Uh, I mean I can just access if I if I sit here now I can just kind of almost bring that energy on. You know? But it does feel good. So yeah. It's um, very and I and I and I was also in very capable hands. We have a we have a good relationship. We've known each other for a long time. Um and you said, and, and I, when I leaned back, I <laughs> banged my head against a log by the fire. And that was just kind of funny. You know, you were funny. You are funny. And that really helps because that kind of brings a deeper, 
And it is very deep and meaningful, but it's the meaning that we add to it is not deep and meaningful. It's just it is what it is. It's stay in the moment. Right? So, and eventually you kind of brought me out, out of it and woke up from some you know, crazy deep, 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 deep sleep or deep trip. Or something. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the, this is also very important to know. The initial awakening, okay, I want to go back a little bit to what I also felt in the beginning. So in the beginning, I felt this ball of light and awareness. See, there goes your body a little bit. <laughs> felt this ball of light and awareness. And with all this stroking, um, visiting these energy centers in the body, what happened with me is after a while, I started going <laughs> through my body. Like a flow of energy it would either go up or just down. And I was like, oh my word, what is that? Hmm. Now I know what they mean when they say the snake. Kundalini. It's the Kundalini. So it isn't another energy, it's, it's your own life force just running through you smoothly. Um, and it moves you. In a snake like fashion. Now, when a person wakes up the first time and they start feeling, there often is, it's like you suddenly put this awareness in this body of the energy, the life inside you. And in the beginning, there is most of the time, there's a shaking and, and, and there's a clearing of old trauma and. It is a good idea to actually take the, I want to say, patient <laughs> who's now busy awakening and basically shaking. I've, I've got this old heater, gas heater, and when I light it up, it's so rusty. It goes, <laughs> and then after a while, when it's warm, it goes, <laughs> so it's, it's like, <laughs> like my gas heater. It's, it's where, unblocking the drain. It's right? unblocking. Coughing us. up the hairball. Yes. Where, where there's been contraction, trauma in the body. This is all our unconscious mind. It's been proven so many times that your body is your unconscious mind or your trauma goes and sits there. The stuff that you are not able to process mentally, that's all mm. sitting there. So suddenly just on your unconscious mind, you're just rendering into feeling, everything spatters into motion and Often in the beginning, you need a lot of shaking in the beginning, and it will release a lot of trauma. And then for the practitioner, someone like me, now we need to nurture this and understand why we are doing it, and what are we doing with it, and what's the importance of it. Like, why would we want full body orgasm? We'd go like, oh, yeah. why would we want that? <laughs> looks good, feels good, but there's a deeper purpose. Okay, so in the beginning, there's a lot of shaking resistance and like, oh, what is this? And then I teach you to understand that you are like a river, that you are like an ocean. So empowering. Then, once you know how to switch your light on, Hello, I show people how to switch on their light body. If they have learned that skill, which is quite a big thing to learn, then we can start learning how to circulate this with love and with a partner. Doesn't need genital contact. Can have, doesn't need. I love the movie Avatar. Plug in thing when it goes and all this information comes through. This is how I see it. So every time I make love, the dance, the body is moving, there's life moving between us. We honestly feel a telepathy happening. There's always a telepathy. And I always have this feeling of I'm I'm having some kind of memory of is this from time. I don't know if the time is in the past or the future or if it's in another place, but I have this strong feeling that in some other place, I'm trying to say to people, dudes, in my wonder world, I make love to people with life and with telepathy. 
And then I, I don't know what this trick is talking about. I do this regularly with my clients, with my friends. Mm. <laughs> and we can have all our clothes on. 